Hey, it's Harcourt from Play. And today let's talk about prefabs. So prefabs are prefabricated interactions that the play team has created for you to drag and drop and use in your designs. You can find a list of all of our prefabs in interaction mode in the interactions panel. This second tab says prefabs and you can search through the search bar or just take a look at all of the prefabs that we have available. We're going to be adding more and more prefabs as we continue on with development of play. So to add a prefab, I'm gonna select the object on my page that I want, similar to how I would for a trigger and action. Then I can just double click the prefab that I'd like. And you can see it's added to my page. And it's just one node here with a title and several properties. And these properties are called prefab controls. And so this is how you are able to connect the prefab interaction to your specific design. So I have this option to do a header here. So when I click on this, I'll see a list of all the layers in the layers panel, and I can select a header from my design. I can also change the stretch intensity. And you can see while this header property allowed me to select a target, this stretch intensity is actually just a value, or I can type something into the expression editor. So there's different types of prefab controls. So now that I have that added, I can go on my iOS device and see what happens. So as I scroll down on my page, you can see that elastic header stretches out. And once I release, it pops back into place. Now, just to show you that this really is done just by this one prefab, I'm gonna press D on this prefab to disable it. And now when I try and scroll, you can see that that doesn't happen at all. It just scrolls normally. So these prefabs, they're super quick, super easy, and provide a lot of powerful functionality. And that can be where prefabs end for you. You can search them, add them to your designs, connect your designs to the prefabs, and share your designs. But if you wanna learn more about how prefabs work, or if you wanna customize them, you can click this edit prefab button. And when you do that, the entire interaction will be expanded, showing all of the triggers, actions, and conditions, loops, timers that may be included in your prefab interaction. So in here, you can check the whole thing out, learn how we did things. You can make some edits in here and see what you can create that way. The one thing I'll note in here is that I mentioned the prefab controls earlier, and you can see when I have either of the prefab controls highlighted, you can see this little, these little blue lines that connect me to a property on the interaction nodes inside the prefab. So you can see the target that we set for the elastic header is actually being used by both the set position Y action and the set height. Then once I'm finished with this, I can just click pre close prefab. And now we're back just one node, making my whole layout on my page look really clean and simple for anyone to come view. In the future, we're gonna allow you to create your own prefabs in addition to just using the prefabs that we create for you. And adding on top of that, will allow you to share your prefabs with others and allow others to share their prefabs with you in our community. And that's prefabs in play. Thanks so much for watching this video.